Six, or nine to zero. Nebraska's Jordan Burroughs will go up against Iowa's Brent Met Metcalf. Brent Metcalf out of Davison, Michigan, the same high school, Davison High School, as Paul Donahoe, the 25-pounder for Nebraska. Jordan Burroughs, a sophomore from Sickleville, New Jersey, Winslow Township High School. Metcalf is also a sophomore. Brent Metcalf coming off a really impressive win against Josh Shirella from Michigan. Shirella, the you know, five-year senior. Metcalf, the freshman, and uh, uh, just real good physical, hard-fought match. Did a nice job of getting out from underneath. He's just got the full complement of skills and, and, and a gas tank to go with it. And it is Metcalf's first year wrestling because he had to give up a couple of years. One as a red shirt and one as uh, uh, for the transfer. He's a sophomore, as so is uh, Jordan Burroughs. And they met earlier this year in the finals of the uh, Omaha Open Tournament, the, the Kaufman Brands Omaha Open Tournament, and Metcalf won 6-0 in the finals. There's a nice leg attempt there by Burroughs, left-handed single leg. And every time that Burroughs uh, drives into him, you notice how uh, Metcalf has his left shoulder there, kind of drive, keeping him away. You know he'd like to get his arm back. He's going to settle to go off the mat. Metcalf has... Uh, taken on all comers this year. He's ranked number two in the nation. His only loss being against uh, Darian Caldwell from North Carolina State, um, who pinned him real fast in one of those type of things in the first period. Otherwise, Metcalf, the Midlands champion, is uh, certainly uh, one of the favorites to win the NCAA title this year. Well, that's, that's the way you're gonna have to get a guy like this because he, he's constant seven minutes of pressure. He doesn't get tired out there, and again, the type of wrestler that expands his lead once he gets a lead. Oh, nice single leg attempt. Comes to the head, comes back, drives through. He's wrestling a good athlete here. And he goes to the first choice, which is the far ankle. And he's got to work with some real estate here, trying to get to that far ankle. He's going to pull him all the way back until he gets that far ankle. Now he's got the points. That's just that excellent execution there. Good single leg finish. Brett Metcalf goes out in front 2-0 over Burroughs. There's Dan Gable, a familiar face in the Iowa Hawkeye program. Yeah, he's got to be pretty happy with what he's seen here from the Hawks. I mean, Coach Gable's been behind the uh, Hawk bench most of the time here and, and uh, got to be very pleased with the way this program is going. Metcalf was undefeated in high school, four-time state champion, 228 0 Went to Virginia Tech, along with the three Iowa champions, preps with Tom Brands. And we've seen Slayton, we've seen LeClaire, now Metcalf. And we'll see Jay Borchel a little later at 174. Again, look, look at the way he stalks. He, just, he, doesn't, he doesn't come out of his stance, and it's just so hard to get through his head-to-hands defense. And Again, Burroughs is, is uh, kind of fake shot, half shot, can't get all the way through, and, and Metcalf's not falling for it, but at the same time, just going forward, going forward, keeping pressure on. Every free move is forward, but forward when he's keeping a good stance. Keep working the set, guys. Come on, keep wrestling here. Time's ticking away in the first period. Metcalf ahead two to one. Early takedown, Burroughs got an escape. We're at 149 pounds. Mike Haggerty, the official. There's the end of the first period. There's Mark Manning. His wrestler gets the choice and gonna chooses down. Tony Ursulin, his assistant uh, right to his right, our left here on the screen. And Tim, you mentioned this uh, earlier, but uh, both programs, 11 sophomores combined. Only one senior on each team, Mark Perry for Iowa at 165, and May, the heavyweight for Nebraska, the only two seniors on the team, 11 sophomores. And uh, for, for being so young, they have a lot of savvy and good experience. Yeah, these, are, these are quality wrestlers here that are gonna be back, you know, year after year, all throughout their careers. Seven no, soft. No one-year wonders. Seven sophomores for Iowa four sophomores for Nebraska. 
Low ankle attempt there by Burroughs. And Metcalf showing very quick, quick. Look how low his hands are. He's looking for that shot, also looking for his own shot. And when he does put his hands on the opponent here, it's heavy hands. Really makes the opponent work. Two to two. Take down early in the first period for Metcalf. An escape for Burroughs, and then an escape here in the second period for Burroughs. The fourth match in this dual championship final, the national dual championships. Every free, every free tie-up situation, Metcalf is moving forward. Now, you know, granted, he went, he's gonna take the other guy off the map, but he's making an impression on the official. And uh, you know, over time that's gonna that's gonna help him in his career, establish a reputation. He's already got a good reputation as far as that goes, as far as being aggressive, but you know, that's gonna those points are gonna add up in tough match situations later on. Going forward. Look at that. <laughs> and Jordan uh, Burroughs is uh, looking for a way to go forward himself and not having much success. He's better off just standing his ground. Creating a scramble, okay. But Metcalf has both ankles. Not gonna get two yet, because of the lock in the crotch. 30 seconds left in the second period. But Metcalf's gonna get his head out on the far side if he can. Will be too, constantly working to improve. There's two points with only 14 seconds left in this second period. And there, Metcalf goes ahead 4-2, to two, and he is going to have the choice in the final period. Well, it's just persistence, and I think that paid off. Nice job by Burroughs coming out, but uh, doesn't get the points. Does not give the points. Tom Brands looking on with a lead, 9-0 for his team after three matches. And Metcalf chooses down. He's up 4-2. to two. Coach Brands looks uh, happy. Why? Well, you know what? I'd be awful happy too, coaching a kid like this that is going forward all the time. And I know that uh, Tom's had a lot to do with that. He's been been with him for a while, three years now. Recruited him to follow him, and this situation here, where I've been very impressed with Metcalf, and as a sophomore, not a lot of experience. Escape for Metcalf, and right back in, looking to score again. Has the ankle, if he can pull it in, he'll have two. Except that uh, Burroughs, who is quick, pulls his other leg out. Doesn't look like he's gonna get it, but Tim, he, what I've been most impressed with him is his down position wrestling. And he wrestled Josh Shirello as a quality opponent in the top position and kept the pockets closed and did a nice job of you know, even right there getting out from underneath, and that's probably the one more difficult skills to, to uh, teach young college wrestlers, and he's got it. He's ahead of the game, a sophomore, ranked number two in the nation. Brent Metcalf for Iowa, out front 5'2", here at 149 pounds in the finals of the National Dual Championships. Iowa out in front of the team, 9-0 over Nebraska. He has the skills, now he's in on the other leg. We saw before where he was working the single leg, and now he's on the Another leg, and this is, you know, position that's, that we're going to see. Oh, nope. he's off. He's off the mat. One point for Iowa. Technical violation against Nebraska's Jordan Burroughs for fleeing the mat. Six to two for Metcalf. It does seem like Metcalf is just carrying on what uh, every um, Iowa wrestler has been doing since uh, Charlie Falk uh, beat Donahoe. I mean, they're chasing. Yeah, they're chasing, and Charlie Falk was, you know, moving forward. He had the offensive shot in the match, and he's just carried forward. And now they've, you know, Nebraska's kind of re reeling a little bit here. They've seen their leader and returning national champion. They've had a great tournament to this point, and, you know, you got to be careful not just to be content with getting here. They do have the matchups there, or had the matchups anyway. With the, the, Besides the upset of uh, Falk, that wasn't really an upset, you know, big upset. But you have to, anytime you beat a national champion, it's a big win. But you got you to gotta keep it up over there on the sideline and not just be content with the last match, just giving up. But I think a lot of it's just that the Hawkeyes are just coming after them, been relentless in these first few weights. Hawkeyes seeded number two. Penn State got upset as the number one seed. Nebraska upsetting them as well as... Uh, Northwestern, the number eight seed, and then Minnesota, the number five seed. 
Nebraska coming through a very, very tough bracket to be here as an unseeded opponent of the number two seeded Iowa here in the finals. Counter shot by, that was a no call, six to two is the final score at 149 pounds. Brent Metcalf for Iowa over Jordan Burroughs from Nebraska, and he puts his Hawkeyes